What is going on everybody? It's Titan Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a very highly anticipated sneaker but the excitement was dampered a bit because of an incident that happened. But before I get further into the sneaker about to look at today, I'm going to need a couple things from you guys. I'm going to need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Drop a comment down in the comment section. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now today, we're taking a look at a sneaker. Nike has been rolling out a lot of this silhouette this year. And for the most part, they all have been bangers. Uh, really good sneakers. Probably going to see these in a lot of people's top 10s of 2023. Me, myself, personally, I do a top 15 due to my shoe size. I do wear a size 15 in some shoes, but size 14 in most shoes. Now, this sneaker, uh, it was a collab with a LA-based company. Uh, one of the owners was uh, growing up in Venice Beach and that part is uh Venice Beach California that is and that part is displayed on part of the sneaker you probably know what I'm talking about already you can see the box say it's Nike SB and shout out to Uncle Billy Goat got these from Uncle Billy Goat as I show you the box tag uh, and it says Nike SB low pro quick strike and the color is deep royal white and black this is a size us 14 and uh i'm not sure what these were retail but your boy had to pay that fine this fee because these were very hard to get from any skate shop fold over box top you see that blue lot stamp right here which matches the deep royal blue on the sneaker and the paper you have that smooth side on one and rough on the other and i did say i got these from uncle billy goat yes and here's your authentication card from goat they're starting something new they used to have the card with the holes in it but now they give you this card assurance of authenticity and there's a QR code on the back. So I'm assuming you scan a QR code and it's gonna let you know information about the shoe, possibly who authenticated it and all that good stuff. And look down in the box, you can see that green and white YCM sticker. Uh, that's everything that came in the box. So let's get into the sneaker. Here we go guys, we have the Born Rays Nike SB Don't Glow, one block at a time. Uh, Born Rays is an LA based company that started around 2013 out there in the hometown of one of the founders of uh, Spanto. Rest in peace to him because he actually passed away in a car accident out there in Albuquerque and uh, it kind of delayed the release of the sneaker. Uh, the sneaker didn't go out to a lot of the skate shops that would normally go to. It only was re uh, released at the Born Rays location and maybe a skate shop or two out there in California. But uh, when I saw the sneaker, I liked the sneaker because you know blue is one of my favorite colors, and uh, this one was a big one. It was, this is a big ticket item, so to speak. But enough about that. Let's get into the sneaker. It's made on the all-white base. You got some nice uh, tumbled uh, leather on here in your quarter panel. Going around the ankle padding in your toe box. Take a closer look. You can see it's kind of pebbled up. And you have a swoosh on here. Depending on what angle you see or uh, how the sunlight hits it, it's probably going to be... Uh, kind of iridescent so to speak you'll see a pink swoosh in one side or you'll see a blue swoosh on the other side depends on how the sun hits it you do have that deep royal blue 
on your overlays, your ISD, and your mud guard. And the material on there is new buck. It's a decent grain, you got a little brush back motion. And it's, uh, you do have the uh, holes right here on the side that matches the holes in the toe box. There's a term they call this, and it is called Ornit Perforations. Yeah, you have the Ornit Perforations right here and in the toe box. This is different. This is my first time seeing this on the sneaker. You do have an embroidered uh, logo right here on the rear heel in the pink colorway. You do have a white midsole. You have a semi-translucent color on your very bottom which leads to the outsole here you go born raised sb nike swoosh you have that paint hit right there in the middle here we go on the back on the turf on the back heel then the heel tab it says born raised and then it'll say nike as i'm sorry it'll say born sb then it'll say Nike SB. Depends on what uh, light hits it. And you got more of that nice tumble white leather on here. And let's move around to the medial side of the sneaker. You have that nice swoosh again with that, uh, not sure what type of material it is. You push it in, but uh, the light, depending on what light hits it, that's what uh, color the swoosh will be either pink or blue you have that deep royal uh new buck on your uh overlays with that ornate perforations right there as well tumble white leather on the quarter panels got that white midsole semi translucent on the very bottom and uh let's get to the shoe you got tissue come with it and the toe box you can read Says one block at a time. Says one block on the right shoe and at a time on the left shoe. That's what it says. While I got both shoes up, there you go. This is how it looks underneath both sneakers. Here's a look at the toe box, guys. You have the ornate perforations, like I mentioned earlier, on the uh, toe box, and it do come factory laced with these. Uh, oval flat deep royal laces it come uh, with a nylon tongue you see that black uh, I'm sorry that deep royal woven patch it says born SB in white and it says one block at a time in pink it does come with three other additional laces the laces come affixed to the right sneakers so if you're gonna buy these make sure you're paying attention to the details it's all in the details you have an oval white lace, and on here is pressed on. It says, In Loving Memory of Chris Spantos. You have a pink lace, got a design on it, and you got a flat white lace that also says, In Loving Memory to the uh, one of the founding partners of Born Race, of the company. You do have a nylon tongue, like I mentioned, with the white piping going around the top of the tongue. This is a SB that comes with a padded tongue. You do have a fat tongue. And on the other side of the tongue, you do have another woven patch. Deep Royal colorway says on the turf. And you got Nike SB in pink down below. The sock liner is actually white leather. White leather sock liner. And you do have the additional cushioning right here for your heel or your Achilles area, I should say. Uh, this is the insert. This is what the insert looks like. This is the city of Venice Beach, California, where uh, Chris is from or grew up, where the store is. It's that city in the background on both inserts. It says Barn SB right down the back heel. And you do have this on the back of the uh, insert. And see if we can look at that uh, size and tag. Say US size 14 and the production date is November the 4th of 2022 to January 31st 
2023 so mm, almost three months of production with these guys so let me know your thoughts what your Nike SB Dunk Low Born Rays uh is coming to loose right here but this is a good one this is a big ticket item I call it uh probably definitely will see this sneaker on my top 15 countdown I'm not sure where it rank on everybody else's. Haven't seen a lot of videos on this sneaker. Not sure how many people got these or was willing to pay that big ticket, but it was a sneaker your boy had to have. Had to make a couple things shake, and I got them to the collection. So let me know your thoughts on the Bone Rays Nike SB Dunk Low. One block at a time collab. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.